Hello everybody and welcome back to Pirate and Ninja Productions. My name is Proteus and this is episode 7 of the Direwolf 21.16 mod pack. Um, not a whole lot has changed above the ground. Um, a few things have. As you can see, I have Applied Energistics Crafting Terminal here. And if we go down, they are on every single level other than the spoilers. Uh, you can definitely tell that there's a lot of difference in this room. I put in real walls instead of whatever. Um, I've moved some smelting or ore processing over here. It's not fully set up yet. Um, I am using XNet to control it. It has no power and no uh, input for ores at the moment because it will be hooked into the ME system once I get that set up. Um, so it's a bit quieter in here. I don't think I've done a whole lot else outside. I have spent a good amount of time getting prepped for, yes, that's right, getting prepped for doing Astral, because that is what I said I would like to work on this episode. So if we fly right up here, flattened out a bit of space, I'd like to use this to build our uh, wizard's tower, basically. And there are several different magical mods that are in this pack. Um, let's quickly go through the list and see after we get plant past applied energistics. So we've got Ars Nouveau, we got Blood Magic, I think, what else we got? Oh, Patani gets its own building, nobody's really sure. There's just so much in Patani that gets its own building no matter what it's classified as. Um, what else do we have for magical type mods? I know we had a couple more. Oh, we got mana and artifice, which I know next to nothing about, so we'll definitely have to play around with that. Um, nope, that's Batania expansion, Mythic Botany. Nature's Aura. Uh, Nature's Aura, I may need to build a whole grove because it requires a lot of space. And then, and I think it also requires a nether setup as well. I think that may be, obviously, besides Astral, Blood Magic, Ars Nouveau, or, um, Uh, mana and artifice. Don't think uh, we got anything else for major. Yeah, so it's not that much. So I'll probably put astral, arse, and artifice in this tower. Blood magic will get its own area. Um, and nature's aura will get its own two areas, one in the overworld and one in the nether. So, in order to get started with Astral, go get this egg first, we need a couple of things from inside the base. Forgot I haven't turned this into a real door yet. All right, so down to the basement. The egg away, put that sky stone away. So at astral. Nope, I have two astral tomes. Whoopsies. Alright. And this can go away as well. So if we open the book, um, you'll find I did go and find, I think these are all the primary constellations. Um, there are different types of constellations. There's primary, there's dim, and then there's super dim or something. I, I don't remember exactly. Um yeah. So this is all the stuff that I have learned so far. Uh, here's the welcome. Huh. I am not going to read all of that. Um, there's these shrines. We found a few of these already, and they're going to be useful. 
Um, I have yet to find rock crystal ore, so I will need to go looking for that, but we need the resonating wand to really find it. Uh, and then marble is, city marble we'll be using a lot. So first let's make an resonating wand. So it's just a couple of marble. Um, resonating wand. There we go. And once we do that, we can find rock crystal ore and we can make a luminous crafting table. And you just whack it with the, uh, basically put a crafting table below one of these and hit it with the resonating wand and it will turn into a resonant or into a crafting. Oh, wow, I forget, I forget what it's called already. Uh, luminous crafting table. There we go. So I did go ahead and set up in between episodes a waystone network. So I don't have that many waystones yet. I already did come over here and open this up. Uh, I think I have to totally open it to this guy. Maybe not for this. So I just whack. No? Hmm. Yep, I do have to totally open it up, so let me just... There we go. Now I have an actual crafting table. So we'll grab that, and we'll take these out, and then we'll go back home. So if I set this up up here... It's daytime, so I should probably won't have any for a bit, but nighttime is slowly coming. Um, so now we have access to exploration. All sorts of new stuff to build. Infused wood. Wow, that is a lot. Uh, looking glass. Apparently we have many constellations. Huh. Oh yeah, so this is discovering constellations. And it allows you to see them in the night sky, which is kind of cool. So one of the major things we need is to find rock crystals, and um, then we'll need to build a light well, or more than one. Because light wells are um, good for, or they're used to create um, liquid starlight, which is used in crafting and some of the multi-block structures. So what I am doing here is, I'm actually going to do this single block. Um, as soon as it gets to nighttime, actually, I can make a hammock, can't I? Should be able to make one of those. Uh, hammocks allow you to sleep through the day and make it nighttime. They are perfect for something like Astral. Uh, to the basement to see if I have what's necessary to make this. There we go. And then what, did I just put it down somewhere? I've never used this before, so I have pretty much no idea what I'm doing. Hmm. Maybe it needs some space in between it. Probably needs two blocks. Um, No idea how to how to do this. Am I missing something? Yeah, it's just hammock cloth, right?
What do I need? More than one? Hold on. It's gonna be nighttime before I figure this out. Ah, uh, that's probably what I need. Rope and nail. Okay. Let's try this again. Yep, I still have no idea what I'm doing. All right, let's uh, let me go figure that out. Actually, I think it's nighttime. So let's check our table and see. We have a decent amount of starlight, and then we can also do this and see if we have any. Oh, that's right. There was a. There was a bit of an error when the game was, or when the pack was first made, so I may not actually find this as I would like to. That's fine. So basically what you do is you find the little sparkles with the resonating wand, and then you dig straight down to bedrock. In fact, here we are at bedrock. And then do this. There's one. And if I am correct, usually you only get one per area. And it, the surface sparkles disappear. So like you see how there aren't any anymore? So I have to go find another location. And they have a very, very low chance of spawning. So it's definitely good to explore around. It's obviously not very safe to be exploring around during the night time, but uh, you gotta do what you gotta do, right? Look. Uh, only one in this one not a whole lot of good stuff oh well all right so i'm going to continue to oh hello Did I get a trident? Oh. Even with looting three, those are super hard to get. Oh well. Yeah, freezing is good for this kind of thing. So all the way down. Oh, cool. Anyways, like I said, I'm going to continue searching and I'll be back once I've gotten a good amount of these crystals. Right now I've only got five. And I'd like to have a couple dozen. So I'll be back. Alright, so I have made it back with quite a few rock crystals. Um, we'll be getting into these aspects later. I think we can look them up in the tome. Uh, rock crystal properties. So, yeah doesn't really explain what they are at the moment um, but we'll get more into that later 
for now, I would like to start with light wells so we can start getting into some of this other stuff. The um, Fosic Energy, Fosic Resonator is useful for finding high concentrations of starlight in the ground, which are good for um, more powerful locations. So uh, we can use one of these to change the type of marble. So if I want to make, let's say two light wells, I need four ruined marble, four chiseled marble, uh, so six ruined marble. So if I do one, two, three, four, five, six, and then one, two, three, four, and then I just need some aquamarine. Oh, I need more aquamarine. Yikes. Um, how much did I need? Four of them? I'm gonna have to go collect some more of that at some point as well. And of course it needs to be nighttime. I still haven't figured out the hammock thing. So um, I'm actually going to try and figure that out while I wait for it to be night. And we'll get into the light wells. So I got the uh, the hammock. It turns out it's a four space gap. Two for the hammock, one each for the rope and nail. And then I can sleep in it to make it nighttime. Nope. They have a little guide. Probably for that reason. All right, so it's not quite nighttime. It's more like sunset, but whatever. So that's how much I need. So this is your starlight bar. When you put a recipe in here, the glowy part is how much starlight you have, and the blue section is how much you need. If you don't see blue, then this will appear right here will appear the output of the recipe um, and as you can see as the sun sets the starlight power gets to be more and more so it does take a little bit um, and midnight is peak starlight hour as well and this is definitely not a location with high aphosic energy so we'll have to make that resonator as well but we need a liquid starlight to do that, so that's why I'm building a couple of light wells. Ready? There we go. The um, sound effects and particle effects have definitely gotten an upgrade since the last time I played this mod, which was 1.12. There we go. Two light wells. And now if we just go and get some aquamarine, this is why I need a lot more aquamarine. Is this affected by fortune? Probably is. Ooh. So I get four out of a smelter. Hmm. I'll have to test it. Because I have fortune on my uh, flux bore. So now this will fill up with some liquid starlight. And then eventually, not right away, but eventually you can use a bucket and you'll be able to actually collect a bucket full of liquid starlight. Um flares appear when you're doing astral sorcery stuff randomly yeah uh, these will break after producing a random amount up to a full bucket they supposedly create more and faster at nighttime um, and you can also use 
let's see, liquid starlight. You can also use uh, crystals to do it or the resonating gem. Uh, I recommend using aquamarine because it is the most common unless you have a way, well, until you get a way to, I believe there's a way to replicate rock crystals later on. It's an attuned rock crystal, a regular rock crystal. Yeah, I still can't. There, I believe there's a way to copy, not copy, uh, duplicate rock crystals later on in the mod's progression. So if there is, definitely we'll be using that. Come on. All right, while that's waiting, I'm going to actually go check the system. So I think we have... Oh, we do not have any regular aquamarine shale. Oh well. I uh, guess I got that before I got Silk Touch. So we will have to go aquamarine collecting later on. There we go. Bucket of Liquid Starlight. And now, if I want to make this, I just need two marble. Oh, two infused wood. All right, then. So in order to make infused wood, put, <laughs> it's a light source, put some liquid starlight in the ground. Of course, it's liquid starlight. Of course, it's, never mind. Grab some wood. And because we're going to use a lot of infused wood, it also looks really cool for building. Uh, take this, turn off that just in case, and drop the wood in there. And it should turn into infused wood eventually. It does not use up the starlight bucket, or the bucket of starlight. There we go. So now I should have one stack of infused wood. Isn't that cool? And I'm going to go ahead and grab another bucket. And then I'm going to open the book back up. We need one aquamarine, two marble, a gold, and a gold. So we go down here. Thankfully, all of this is in these drawers. So one aquamarine, one gold, and one two marble. That's just the standard marble. So we put those there those there that goes what on top this goes on the bottom and that goes in the middle there we go and whack it and wait for it there we go so now if i hold this in my off hand at night i will be able to find patches of concentrated starlight on the ground like this see how this is all sparkly here that means that it is a high concentration of starlight right here. So this is a good spot to build an astral sorcery uh, setup. Or over here, this is actually an even better setup because it's more sparkly. So the more sparkly it gets, the better it is. Um, and this actually would probably, wow, look at this. Let's see, is there any over here? Wow, there is. I guess I picked a good base location because, wow, there's a lot of good astral sorcery spots. Unfortunately, uh, the hilltop that I've set aside is not one of them, but that's okay. I think I will use... I wonder... Yeah, this is the most sparkly. So we're going to use this hill right here as our astral sorcery spot. So, means I need to do two things. One, I need to go and get a another mega torch and put over here so that I don't have creatures attacking me. And I also need to clear the area and flatten it out a bit or just build a platform. I think I'm just going to build a platform to build all of the 
astral sorcery stuffs on top of. Um, yeah, so the next thing I'd like to do is make this, and I can, in fact, make this right now. So, why not? Six marble, another bucket of starlight, and another crystal. Oh, it consumes the bucket too, huh? That's too bad. I mean, it's not like I don't have the iron. Oh. You know, I don't think I do, I do. Left my old style crafting bench up here. Uh, was that it? Yes. One crystal later. So now, oh, it didn't. It just left it in there. I knew that. I was just um, testing myself. Yeah. So four pillars and two chiseled. Four pillars, two chiseled. I think that goes there and that goes there. Yep. So that, as you can see, requires a ton of starlight and it's almost daytime. So I am going to actually move this to a better location because I don't think I have enough starlight, uh, which means clearing that out a bit. So I'm going to take care of that and I'll be back. All right. So it is actually still the same day, um, but I realized that I am running low on time for this episode. So I just wanted to show something off first and in the next episode we will get back to doing some more astral sorcery so you remember how i had the uh, spoilers on the elevator well now we're gonna call it the core this is what i've been working on in between episodes and in between cuts and other episodes it is a descent into well the core so it's obviously very much incomplete, but this is going to be the central hub of the base. Um, basically in here, this is the controller for everything. I'm going to have uh, cables going out on all four corners um, and I'll cover them. So they're, and they're going to be the, the big smart cables as well. But they're going to be going out just to um, for aesthetics, so it looks like the core is being held up. I might also have ones going straight up, and that would be cool too. I may actually change these out for just four going straight up instead of having two on each side, so that would be eight total, and that's a lot of cables. Um, but I may have more as well because I'd like to use quantum entanglement for I think that's what it's called yeah quantum rings I'd like to use quantum rings for the um, different locations in the base as well as other dimensions so I can access my applied energistics from anywhere so this is the main floor basically where I'm gonna have on top of this glass which Connected textures, create, thank you very much. This is just a one to one of regular glass in a stone cutter. Uh, so, up here, I'm going to have a bunch of auto crafting and storage and stuff like that. I might turn like one of these sections just into a wall of um, storage stuff. Uh, the disk drives, there we go, as well as storage monitors because those are fun but those will probably go upstairs more in the ground level i'm actually let's go back up so this is just certus courts and scaffolding i want it to look a little bit factory like this whole wall i'm actually going to get rid of and move anything that needs to go into a drawer downstairs possibly into quantum storage units and then i'll replace this wall with um, storage monitors for things that actually need to be monitored 
like precious resources and stuff like that. Yeah, so obviously I'm still in the middle of building that. And it's not very even close to being finished at all. Like it still needs some lighting up. There is a mega torch, so no mobs can actually get in here. Um, let me let's go down to the maintenance level. So this down here, I might rename it, but this is where all of my auto crafting is gonna be. All of the the actual like auto crafters themselves, the molecular assemblers and interfaces and such, those are all going to be down here. Actual processing stuff will probably be up here instead, because I like to watch it. Um, for basic stuff, like ore, pro well, ore processing is still going to be in the basement, which the leave I showed, but I'm going to be a little bit more specific about it. Let's go up, 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 and here we go. So yeah, this is 3x ore processing. Um, the electrolytic separator creates oxygen, which goes into here. You can see oxygen. And you put raw ores in here, and it creates three clumps. And those clumps are crushed into dirty dusts, which then are enriched into regular dusts, which are then smelted into ingots. Oh, there's my battery. Um, I was using my battery to test out the system. I put one stack of iron ore in and got three stacks of ingots out. So it works. Yay. Uh, I do need the smelting and the purifying to be given um, I hate that upgrades. They have none right now. The crushing and enriching are full up on the upgrades I want to give them. Uh, the separator, I think I will give speed upgrades. I've been told energy upgrades basically don't do anything for it. So... Uh, speed would be good to keep up with this because it can't keep up with this right now. I may have to do two of these at full speed, but we'll see about that. And I'm going to fully program the XNet controller back there to do it. And we're getting close to getting rid of this setup here. I'm just going to have a... Uh, I'm going to start setting up auto crafting for smelting of stuff. And I'm not sure which smelter I'm going to use. I may end up using the furnace, or I may get more of these factories because they're just really fast. It depends on how my power gen handles it. Um, and most of this is also going to go away and, and or be rearranged just to make things look a little prettier. Of course, refined storage is going to go away as soon as I get the applied energistic system fully up and running. I'm going to set up an auto infusing setup. I'm going to use mechanism for as much as possible because I haven't really used it a lot and I like mechanism. So I'm uh, also going to set up some mechanism stuff in here for auto crafting. And I'm going to get rid of my enchanting setup and move it to another building at some point. All of my botany pots are going to get sent into a greenhouse system, which will be hooked into the main. Uh, applied energistic system yeah so that's what's going on and plans I finally revealed my big secret and it will be uh, improved upon in between the episodes and as we go until it's finally good to go it's just kind of boring to watch people build or I think it's boring to watch me build a storage system on camera so I'm just gonna not do it I'll just keep updates as we go. So that is going to do it for this episode. So I'm going to get back to work on doing the auto crafting stuffs or mostly just hooking this up to power and stuffs. But uh, yeah, that's going to do it for now. So I hope everybody enjoyed and I will see you later.